If we're talking Budapest, then we're talking gangs. Glorious walkways hugging the walls above courtyards planted with flowers and bushes. The gang's a good place for watching birds or bats, for theorizing, sunbathing, and swapping opinions. The Virginia creeper opposite has put down roots at the base of our house, too, making our building a refuge for ants, spiders, and centipedes. We can get even higher than this, though, up to Normafa, to Harmosh Hotar Hill, up to the tomb of the Ottoman poet Dervish, Kel Baba. Views open up from lookout towers, restaurant terraces, and from Budapest's Ferris wheel. The view from Gellert Hill is the best known. I have also pushed my children up to the castle district in a buggy. They need to get used to heights. That's how my children like to swing, too. As high as the sky. Sometimes the sky is within arm's reach. At other times, it is out of reach, even in an airplane. In a swing, though, you can sweep up into it any time you want. But the deep places of the city are at least as enticing as the lofty ones. It's worth heading downwards, into old underground cellar systems or labyrinths. Some caving in, some renovated. The ground is easily scooped out. It was once a hiding place for treasures, for food, drink, and munitions. It's been a life-saving hideout, a hospital in the rock. The depths guard dripstone caves, which inspire wonder and also bring healing. The famed therapeutic waters, for example, flaunting their liquid treasures in pellucid drinking halls, in pleasing Turkish and Art Nouveau baths. Sometimes we have to descend into the depths. At other times, we do it for fun. Creeping underground like a mole or a worm. The difference only that the passages we enter have been pre-prepared. Following dirt tracks deep into the earth, or riding on long flights of swift moving stairs, as the draught tugs at your hair. There's also the metro. We go down as far as the belly of the earth and climb higher than its chest. We move between levels. Out of the city's navel spurts the fountain on Margaret Island. <laughs> 